If an engine type OM629 or 642 isn't running properly, do an oil leak check of the injectors. Bring the engine to operating temperature. First, remove the design trim. Also, a part of the rear engine seal must be removed. In addition, remove the two dividing panels. Then the air filter case. Also remove the air ducting. The injectors have a cover. Fold that aside. This is the leak oil check tool. The tool with eight test tubes has the number W611-589-042100. The test tube holder with four plastic tubes W668-589-006300. And the four adapter tubes have the part number W642-589-002100. We start on the passenger side. Here you see the T-piece for the fuel return line, which is in the middle of the engine block. Attach a tube clip for this return line for the right cylinder bank. Please wear protective gloves for the following work. Each of the four cylinders has a return fuel line which is connected with a plug to the respective injector. Open all four plugs. Now you can disconnect the plugs. Make sure that no oil runs out. Now you connect the open fittings of the return line to the four adapter tubes. Press to fasten. Next, hang the holder on the engine hood. For this, there are suitable hooks. Connect the four transparent tubes with the four adapter tubes. Bring the ends of the plastic tubes together with the adapter tubes. For the next step, the test tubes are put on the holder. Now the test device is connected and ready. Switch on the ignition and go to the star diagnosis. Under main groups, you'll find the menu control devices. Confirm this with F3. Drive system is selected and confirm with F3. In this menu choose CDI5 common rail diesel injection. 
On this page, you'll find important tips. Read these and confirm with F3. Next, select the menu Whole List Check. Here you'll find the menu Leak Oil Check of the Fuel Injectors. Confirm with F3. On this page, you'll see safety instructions and precautions. Read these safety instructions carefully. Proceed with F2. Also read the test requirements on this page. The engine temperature must be at least 80 degrees. If the engine temperature has sunk in the interim, let the engine run until the 80 degree temperature has been reached again. Use the extractor system. Engage the brake and start the engine. Put the vehicle in neutral. Once the 80 degrees are reached, press F2. Read the instructions and tips on this page. Here you'll see the order of the test. Then press F2. Now the star diagnosis will inform you to bleed the tubes. Keep the engine running until fuel flows in the tubes. Watch until no more bubbles are to be seen in the four plastic tubes. The internal tube must also overflow. Only then should you switch the engine off again and empty the test tubes. Use a suitable container for this. Connect the four test tubes again. Then press F2. This is the page for the test. Now start the engine and the test process will start automatically. Now the star diagnosis automatically controls the engine. The program will keep the engine in neutral for a while and then the star diagnosis automatically raises the revs so that the test tubes will fill faster. Observe the process in the test tubes. When the test is concluded, the program will stop the engine. Now check the test tubes. No tube can have a fuel level greater than the fifth measuring line. In our case, all tubes are filled up to the second measuring line. The check of the injectors in the right cylinder bank shows that no injector is faulty. The star diagnosis asks, was the fuel amount over the fifth measuring line? Here in our case, the answer is no. Do the same check on the other side in the left cylinder bank. First, move the clip. Clamp the tube clip at the T-piece of the return line for the left cylinder bank. Then connect the adapter tubes to the return valves in the left cylinder bank just as you did on the right side. Repeat the test process. We see in the current check that from the return line in cylinder 6, more fuel is present. The fuel level is well over the fifth measuring line. Here we found a damaged injector. Hence, answer the query after the check with yes. That was the test process. The star diagnosis gives you instructions of what to do next. Now you can get to work exchanging the defective injector. Follow the instructions in this.